What's up guys? Welcome back to Build Cool again. Today, it's back to work on our dirt bike to street legal adventure bike build. And in this episode, it's time to put all this stuff together and make this thing roll again. But before we do that, I'd like to go through and get the gas tank all hung up so that way we can go through and get that thing painted. I finally chose a color for it and I think you guys will like what I chose. So we're going to go ahead, start there, I'll have to get you guys all set up and then we're going to have to build a little spot to paint again. We'll get that thing painted and then we'll come back over here and start working on this thing. But before we get started, let's go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button so we can keep on building cool sh And with all that being said, let's get started. <laughs> So we managed to go ahead and get that gas tank all painted up and I am in love with that color. I just think it looks so good and it's going to look really good when this bike's all put together and finished. So now that we got that thing taken care of, it's time to go ahead and start assembly on this. So we're going to have to start by getting that rear brake lever all mounted in down there because once we get everything else started to be put together, that thing will be an absolute nightmare to get in there. It's going to take a lot of weasel in and it'll be easier to just start with that. So we'll get that in there. From there, we'll go ahead and take the motor and set it in the frame. And then once we get that done, maybe we'll be able to get the forks on here 
I still need to paint some spacers that go in between the swing arm. So I don't think we're going to get that far, but who knows? We'll see where we wind up. So with all that being said, you guys, let's get started.
guys, so after another long night, we managed to not only get that gas tank all painted up, but we got the motor mounted, the forks are on, and the front wheels on there. Now I didn't really bolt everything up nice and tight quite yet. I still want to go through and get more things put on here before I go through and start nut and bolting this thing. Because some things may have to get moved, I may have to take things back off. Just kind of got to play it by ear. But for now, I'm real happy with how smoothly everything's going. I did put a little scratch on the motor mount, but that's kind of a given when you're trying to shimmy a big motor in here. I mean, no scratches on the frame yet, so I'll take that. But before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button so we can keep on building cool. You guys definitely want to make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the next build. It's coming up. As you can see, this thing's just about done. In a few more episodes, we'll be really, really close. So with all that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace!